If you see a building that you like the look of while you're walking around a town street, like this beautiful medieval one behind me, the natural assumption would be to use the widest lens on your phone. That's not always the best approach. When I look at this view with the wide angle lens, well, it's fitting in too much. The subjects that are closest to me have become huge. The ones that are a bit further away have become too small to see. And the thing that I really like about this building is that it's right next to some really colorful houses right next door to it. And I want them to have equal billing. So the trick is to zoom in and concentrate on those details. Here with the lens set to wide, I'm just getting too much of the surroundings. So for me, I think it's much more attractive if you begin to zoom in. This is with the standard camera lens, but you can see that I'm still not getting the kind of detail that I want. And in fact, believe it or not, one of your best approaches is to zoom in as much as the camera allows. And this means that you can get really close to these details. You get to see the buildings beyond in as much detail as the one that's closer in the foreground. And the more you zoomed in, the easier it is to crop out unwanted objects and subjects, like in this case, cars driving along the road. Don't worry about the occasional pedestrian, they can give the shot some life. But otherwise, I like the way that this is really concentrating on these buildings, and that is what this picture is all about. And that looks much better to me, because by magnifying the view, you're not only getting closer to those details on that first building that caught your eye, but you're also gradually increasing the details of the ones behind it. You're giving them a chance to really occupy a decent amount of the frame. And the more that you zoomed in, the easier it is to just adjust the view, left, right, up and down, to crop out any parts that you're not interested in. For me, it's allowed me to get rid of all of the cars on this otherwise busy road and make it look like it was a nice, peaceful street. So in review, let's look at the three different views that I took of this composition. This is my wide angle shot, the first one I took, and I was very lucky that there were no cars going along the street. But with a wide angle lens, everything nearby becomes big. It's very easy to get huge areas of just blank space, and there's just not a lot of interest on this picture. I quite like the sky, there's some potential there, but what I was really after was for these buildings to look as nice as possible. I just need to get closer to them. So here's my one times magnified view and it's looking a bit better, but there's still so much of the road in the shot that it's hard not to include some vehicles going past and well, that spoiled my nice medieval vintage feel, hasn't it? Also notice how these buildings behind the medieval one, the colored buildings are still too small on the frame. I want them to appear bigger. And the way you do that is by zooming in as much as you can. This was just at two times, but if you're camera or phone allows you to zoom in closer, then stand back and zoom in further still. The more that you zoom in, the bigger these details in the background will appear. As I did zoom in, I noticed this building in the distance here provided a really nice bit of framing for my right hand edge. And on the left hand, I positioned the view so that we've got these signs in the bookshop window. But look at the road. There were still plenty of cars driving past, but by zooming in tighter, I've managed to avoid all of them and come up with what looks like actually quite a peaceful view on what was an otherwise very busy morning.